You talked about the contrast between what we're seeing in China versus the U.S. Everyone's been talking about the sort of re, I guess you could say, unwind of this inversion. You're seeing a little bit of re-steepening of this curve now, especially in the long end. How, how we reach those cycle highs when it comes to U.S. Treasury yields? Mm. Um, if you think a soft landing is, is not a done deal, you know, are, are we, have you reached a peak when it comes to yields? So I think the Fed would be looking, will be looking at the increase in nominal yields and more importantly the increase in real yields and they'd probably be quite happy because finally um, there's going to be you know, the tightening of financial conditions on, on the back of that. Um, mm. So I think kind of the, the, the Fed will probably increasingly be happy going into Jackson, Jackson Hole on the back of that. Now from, from, from our end, uh, you know, this means more restrictive um, policy with real yields on the 10-year now back to where they were you know, pre-GFC. High real yields again sort of puts more pressure on, on, on the economy. Um, and that's quite important because even if the Fed doesn't do anything more in terms of tightening, as inflation continues to roll over, real yields will, will, creep up, will creep up. So even if we see no more further action from the US, policy will turn more restrictive. And I do think that the Fed will stay higher for longer until they see more you know, visible evidence that the heading, inflation is heading back to the 2%. So higher for longer probably is bad news for the soft landing uh, camp and what also makes us a bit mm. more cautious. Uh, and just to also ask you, are you still comfortable adding duration at this moment? I know that's, that's a, one of your key calls. And, I mean, certainly the conditions recently haven't been supportive of, uh, of, of that move, uh, George. Uh, yes, we have been sort of slowly, incrementally buying a, a bit of duration sort of uh, across the curve, including kind of the long end. Why? Um, what's the 101 of investing in bonds? It's buying when real yields are positive. We haven't seen real yields mm. this positive in a very, very long time. Um, so that definitely means that uh, you know, uh, the bond market is increasingly becoming attractive. There's a lot more convexity. Inflation is, 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 is coming lower. The Fed is towards the end of its tightening cycle. And even, because uh, I guess one of, the, one of the kind of conflicting argument here is if the Fed stays higher for longer, why would you be buying duration? Well, if the Fed stays higher for longer, that probably means that the probability of recession um, probably increases. Um, and that means that right. buying sort of owning duration of these levels, nominal and real, um, offers some very nice convexity.